Well, for many beachgoers, summer vacations are synonymous with oceanfront boardwalks. Mm -hmm. And if you've been to one, you can probably envision the sights, sounds, and smells. Oh, yeah. The Daytona Beach Boardwalk and Pier is sure to be a busy tourist spot in the coming days. It is home to gift shops, arcades, and, of course, food finds. And there is one sweet shop that's been serving little world-famous souvenirs for decades. News 6 insider guy Crystal Moyer is here to unwrap some Zeno's history. It was like I was a kid in a candy store. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> this story couldn't come at a better time as National Taffy Day was celebrated this week. I got to take a tour of Zeno's Candy Factory to see how its signature taffy is made. If you visit any of our stores, you'll see the saltwater taffy puller pulling in the window. And that is traditionally how saltwater taffy is made, and that's how we started making it back in the day. John Louises grew up with generations of candy makers, running the family-owned Zeno's Boardwalk Sweet Shop. My great uncle Thomas started it in 1948, he came down, he's a Greek immigrant, worked up in Coney Island, um, learning to make candy up there, and on vacation one year, came down to Florida and never went back to New York. Zeno's best known for its saltwater taffy has made some adjustments over the years to the way they create their sweet treat. So this is our taffy production room. Uh, this area over here is where the taffy cooking team will cook up taffy at about 120 pounds per batch. It all starts with a combination of sugar and water being cooked up to 265 degrees. Then it's transferred to a mixing bowl. What the mixing does is it aerates the candy. What, it's what makes the taffy fluffy or creamy and it makes it so it's not so dense. Once it's been whipped to the correct consistency, uh, the taffy team wide, the flavoring, the coloring. Remember the taffy pullers? While you may see them in the window of Zeno stores, it's not actually how the taffy is made today. The secret is that it's mixed, not pulled. Then it's dumped into tubs and stored in the warming room. We have little heaters in here that keep this room about 90 degrees. And what that does is it allows the taffy to soften. So when we take to the cut wrap room, it'll help the taffy be foldable. After a few days, the softened taffy is molded and put on the batch roller. It needs the taffy down like dough. So as you can see, it's very wide on the top, but as it comes down the line, it gets skinnier and skinnier. It basically turns it to uh, a rope. The long rope of taffy is then cut into bite-sized pieces. 350 pieces a minute. Then it's time for quality control. Trying to find any bad pieces. A separate machine measures, weighs, and then drops a batch of taffy into plastic bags. The bags are labeled, then packed. At the end of the cycle, the taffy is boxed up and shipped out to Zeno's signature stores in Florida, as well as more than 150 other shops across the country. Zeno's cooks about 3,600 pounds of taffy a day. That's more than 400,000 pieces. In all, Zeno produces more than 100 flavors, including chili pepper, root beer float, even maple bacon, and there's always a new flavor on deck. We got our newest product here. It's our Busta Bear Taffy. It's a uh, like an assortment of six very fruity flavors with a gummy bear center. Well, you know, since I'm reporting on this yes. story, I might have to take one. Yes, there to you test. go. Of course. Um, but no, no one else at New Six. That's right. No, nah, we're not going to give any. You. Thank you. <laughs> All right, I lied. I, I did bring some <laughs> for everyone. <laughs> Zeno's has several stores across the country, but you can order taffy and other confections from their website. I'm going to post the details on clickorlando.com slash insider. And ladies, Zeno's doesn't just make taffy. They have so many other things that they make. They make brittle, caramel, uh, popcorn. Mm. They have everything. It's a candy shop. Yes. Yeah. Like you said, you were a kid in a candy shop. Yes. We're all kids in the candy shop. I know. Today. We've been looking through this, and I love that it, it's not pulled. You said it's mixed. It that is secret. mixed. I remember my mamma pulling uh -huh. taffy and talking about how the weather and the humidity affected <laughs> how does. the taffy pulled. So. <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah, whenever you go to the stores, you could see people in the window like pulling their taffy, and I was like so is it pulled at the other stores? And he's like, no, that's just for show. Right. We don't sell that taffy. I was like, oh, that's, that's amazing. the secret. That's performance it. art in the window. <laughs> I know Bridget was talking about how it's the consistency that makes it so much better than other taffies. Yeah, it's so we'll soft. obviously have to try yeah. it. Um, it's not like hard and, and dense like, you know, normal taffy that you would think of. But one other fun fact. <laughs> 
when I went there, I was asking where his wife was because, mm -hmm. you know, they, they both run the store. Uh, her name is Christina and, and he handed me her business card. And I wanted to show you guys because she's a little shy. <laughs> she didn't want to be interviewed. Uh, the business card says, don't ever contact me. Talk to Johnny. That's awesome. <laughs> and oh. I just love it so much. I had to show you too. So Christina. Yeah, Christina. She's like, here's my card. I call my husband. She's he deals she's with all of the great. business ends of things. So yeah, I'll post the link uh, on clickorlando.com slash insider. Again, they have several stores, St. Augustine, Daytona Beach, um, but you can always order it and have it delivered. So I thought that was really cool to find out the secrets behind yes. the taffy. Yeah, what a great story. All right, we'll be eating this during the newscast, or we'll try not to. Right. <laughs> if we can't read the rest, the rest of the <laughs> right. block, you'll know why.